What I'm going to talk about now is what resonates with me and how I approach this, uh, the clunial neuropathy and clunial neuralgia. Essentially, what we do is if we confirm with our physical exam that that's what is contributing to pain, one of two things that I generally do. The first is perineural injection therapy. This is subcutaneous injections, usually of just 5% dextrose that we buffer uh, with a base in order so that it's not acidic. Um, and we do these subcutaneous injections along the distribution of the nerve. Now, this can be really beneficial for mild cases where we just have um, just generalized neurogenic inflammation where we don't have a single or even multiple um, uh, entrapments of that nerve or uh, um, fascial restrictions around that nerve or friction injuries around that nerve. So our generally our more milder cases, uh, I, I'm leaning more towards the less invasive perineural injection therapy. When we start thinking that, okay, you know, that I think there's actually an entrapment here, right? We have a, an, a fascial adhesion um, or the neurogenic inflammation is so bad that the nerve has swollen a little bit. And so the canal that the nerve generally passes through is, uh, is now tighter because that nerve has swollen. That's when I'm going to opt at looking at doing a nerve hydrodissection under ultrasound guidance. So what we do there is we find the nerve under ultrasound. So if here's our nerve, we advance our needle to the nerve and then we inject our fluid around the nerve, okay? That's gonna do two things. One, we're gonna do a non-surgical decompression of that nerve. We're actually going to create space around this nerve so that the nerve is not being as compressed by the tissues around it. And two, depending on which solution we use, we're actually gonna create some healing and calm down some of that inflammation in the nerve. Things like 5% dextrose can be beneficial for that. Uh, PRP or other platelet products such as uh, platelet poor plasma or platelet lysate can be really beneficial like that. In some of our more extreme cases, we can look at doing uh, allogeneic growth factors such as uh, placental matrix product or even autologous stem cell therapy from bone marrow or adipose tissue. And I personally have found that uh, our approach with adipose tissue works better uh, than our bone marrow uh, uh, concentrate for this nerve hydrodissection. So that's generally how I approach these things. <laughs>